What's up, you guys? My name is Mary I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button and be notified, notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading, caps to decide you, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid, energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate, leave the rest. Free general collective reading. Or not free general collective reading, sorry. This is um, a free reading for Zana Sagittarius. This can resonate if you have Sag in any aspects of your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, No, Men, Henry, for your charts. I received several channel messages, so I'm going to share them. I know it's 2.16 a.m. on 3.12.22, but I slept a lot of the day, so I'm up. Just saying. Okay, so um, the channel messages I received was um, a very malicious uh, feminine Sagittarius stepmother is about to start receiving very heavy negative karma in many aspects of her life um, very soon. That was the first one. I heard, uh, then I heard a um, Sagittarius masculine is about to go through a divorce. He's about to be very, very shocked, but his wife is about to do it. Um, and he will lose a lot of money. That's what I heard. Um, and then I heard evidence, evidence. So, yikes um you plug it in how it resonates um and the other one uh oh crap hold on i had a brain fart hold on oh yes yes um the other one was um an older sagittarius feminine is about to be connected to child abuse very very soon she is about to be shocked that was the third one so you plug it in how it resonates. Holy crap, a moly, man. So um, I guess I couldn't sleep for a reason. Um, wow. So there's at least three sages in the universe. This is negative low vibrational energy. I'm just throwing that out off the bat right now. So if it's not you, it could be somebody you're connected to. But the all three of these situations are very, very low vibrational Sagittarius energy. Just straight up off the bat. There's two feminine energies in there and one masculine. Um, and I say the masculine because there's some kind of evidence. The reason there's some kind of evidence the wife is taking him to get a divorce. Sounds like he don't want it, but she has got some kind of evidence against his ass. And buddy, she's not playing around. Um, so I'm just saying. So you plug it in how it resonates. So the first situation is a very karmic step, low vibrational stepmother energy. Um, um. I heard she's about to start receiving negative karma in many aspects of her life very soon, very quickly. So she is a stepmother of children. Um, so she's not the legal, she's not the biological mother. She is a stepmother. It, it reminds me of kind of like um, evil stepmother energy, like Cinderella, Cinderella. That's what it reminds me of. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. One of these karmic stepmothers is a secret drug user, and that will be revealed as well. Ooh, so it's at least two karmic stepmothers in the universe for category one. Um, I heard one of them is a, uh, a secret drug user, and that's about to be revealed as well. So I don't know if that's about to be revealed in a workplace situation with a random drug screen, or maybe uh, I heard she's a, kar um, a karmic stepmother, basically. Or if Child Protective Services gets involved and has her drug screen, um, but somehow her secret drug use is about to be revealed. Maybe the children tell the real mother or tell somebody um, and a series of chain of events follow. Somehow her secret drug use is about to be revealed. But other, but it sounds like things are about to start changing for her very, very, very soon and very quickly um, in negative aspects. Um, and one of them is a secret drug user. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Category two, low vibrational um, married Sagittarius masculine. He's currently legally married. His wife is about to file for divorce, it sounds like. I heard it's going to shock the hell out of him. She's got some kind of divorce uh, evidence and she's not playing around. Heard he's going to lose a lot of money. So I think he makes a lot of money or he's a trust fund baby or something of that nature, but they have acquired a lot of wealth through this marriage, apparently. So um, he is about to be pissed. Pissed. Okay, I heard he's about to be pissed. Pissed. 
And in particular, Pisces, energy is about to be very significantly pulled into this, and she does not want to be pulled into this. But she is going to be. So much so she will have to go to court over this. She will be mortified. Oh, whoa. So you plug it in how it resonates. Oh, my God. Okay, so he's legally married. The wife is about to take him for a divorce. The wife has some kind of evidence. The wife's not playing around. He's about to be shocked and probably pissed. There's some kind of Pisces femme energy that's about to be drug into this divorce battle, it sounds like. It sounds like she might be the other woman or it sounds like she might be the other woman or a sneaky link or a third party or somehow she is connected into the Sagittarius masculine and his wife's divorce. So I'm thinking the evidence might have something to do with some kind of communication between this Pisces femme and this Sagittarius masculine. I heard she does not want to be drug into it, but she's about to be drug, drug into it. So she's not the wife. She's somebody else. I heard she's going to be mortified. So much so it's, she's going to have to go to the court of law in this divorce proceeding. And it's going to embarrass the hell out of her. So I think she might be a sneaky link energy to him or a secret third party or a secret situation ship. Or a friend that texts him naughty text or something. But somehow this wife has acquired some kind of evidence. And somehow I think the Pisces femme is involved in this evidence. Because somehow she's going to have to go to the court of law. Um, I think testify or give some kind of testimony. Um, in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, I feel subpoena energy here. I didn't hear that, but I feel it. Because I heard she doesn't want to do it. She doesn't want to do it. So... You plug it in how it resonates. I heard it's going to embarrass the hell out of her. So you plug it in how it resonates. And then situation three, an older Sagittarius feminine is about to be connected with child abuse soon. Heard it's about to shock the hell out of her. Um, but she's about to be connected to child abuse. So you plug it in how it resonates. Now, older in the tarot is usually deemed 40 and above um, in the tarot. Because, um, you know, the gray area is like 25 to 39-ish. Um, so usually it's 40 or above, but you know, they could be 40. The side film could be 40. They could be 60. They could be 75. I mean, however the world that resonates with some kind of older Sagittarius film energy, I heard she's about to be shocked and she is about to be pissed, but it is about, she is about to be linked to it. Hard, hardcore linked to it. Negative series of chain events are about to be about to occur for her. Okay. Oh, Lord. Okay. I heard she's about to be pissed, shocked and pissed, but cold, hard evidence is about to link her to this child abuse in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, older Sagittarius femme energy. Um, she could have Sag in her sun, moon, rising, Venus, north of Manhattan, Jupiter, charts. Any of these people could have Sag in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node, Manhattan, or Jupiter, charts. You plug it in, how it resonates. Holy crap, man. But those are low vibrational karmic energies um so you know if you if this you're not these people you could be connected to these people um you plug it in how it resonates spirit messages you have a badge <clears throat> three of swords upright eight of cups upright four pinnacles reversed And a Sagittarius masculine in his 30s is about to be sued soon over a very significant sex tape. He made a lot, 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 a lot of money off of it. Never notified the other party. The other party is about to find out soon through many series of chain of events. A lawsuit will be placed on him. 30s. Oh, my Lord. Okay, so we have four low vibrational karmic energies, actually. So, two masculine, two femme. So, a Sagittarius masculine in his 30s, I heard. So, he could be 30, 31, 39, you know, any of the 30s. Um, you plug it in how it resonates, but um, he apparently made a sex tape 
Um, it sounds like he might have been in the sex tape is what it sounds like from the spiritual download. It sounds like he might have been in the sex tape, but I heard he made basically a ton of money off of it, but he didn't notify the other individual that was in the sex tape. I'm assuming that was probably having sex with him um, or whoever was in the tape. Um, one, at least one party in the tape was not notified that they were filmed, basically. And he ended up making, I heard, basically a crap ton of money off of it. Um, but I heard through many series of chain of events, the other party, the party that was not notified that they were in the sex tape, and basically somebody had taped it and made a bunch of money off of it. I'm assuming it's an adult here that he was having sex with or was in the tape with or what have you. Um, they're about to find out. And I heard that that party is about to sue the hell out of him. And he will not win. At all. And it's going to create other negative series of chain of events, uh, of events for him. Oh, my God. Oh, and I heard he will not win. So he will not win this lawsuit. And uh, it's going to create other negative series of chain of events for him. So in his 30s, Sagittarius masculine. Um, but the whoever... It's, I'm assuming it's one party that was in the sex tape that was actively having sex, but nobody notified this person that one that was being filmed, I'm assuming, and two, that he was going to display it all around the world uh, or area or community or what, how, however he displayed it to make all this money off of it, that their naked body was displayed all over the place having sex and they didn't even get a dime off of it. So, I mean, in all fairness, he should, he should be sued. He should be sued. Um, I heard it's not going to go, that he basically is not going to win this lawsuit and other negative series of chain events are going to occur for him. So, at least four karmic Sagittarius energies in the universe, two masculine, two feminine. You plug it in, how it resonates. Ugh. Three of swords upright, eight of cups upright, four of pentacles reversed. A particular Sagittarius has really been spending outside their means. Some of them are on public assistance and they're not supposed to be. The public assistance is about to be taken away and it's about to leave them in a huge financial mess. However, they should have saved their money. Oh, my Lord. So you plug it in how it resonates. Wow. So, okay. So there's some kind of Sagittarius energy out there that is on public assistance, I heard. Um, and, you know, I don't down anybody on public assistance if you really need it. But whoever this person is, I heard they were spending way outside their means. And basically, they shouldn't be on the public assistance anyway. So it sounds like their income, because, you know, you can only be on public assistance if your income is under a certain threshold. So I'm assuming their income has exceeded a certain threshold. Um, and that's why I heard the public assistance is about to be taken away. So it's about to be taken away, I'm assuming, because their uh, income is above the, the threshold, which that's the way it's supposed to go. Um, but I heard it's about to leave them in basically dire financial straits because they've been basically been overspending above their means. So they've been living outside their means. They haven't been saving their money. They've just been spending, spending, spending because I think they've been uh, relying on this public assistance. But I heard they shouldn't be having the public assistance because I think they're um, I think they might have got a raise, a promotion or a better job, better paying job or something of that nature. And they didn't report it because you're supposed to report it to. Um, if your income changes or something like that um, to the government's governmental sectors. That's, I mean, some people don't do it, but you're supposed to, you're supposed to. Um, negative series of chain of events are going to occur for this Sagittarius. Legal issues here. Ooh, I heard um, negative series of chain of events are going to occur for this Sagittarius legal issues here. So they're about to get in legal issues. I think with um, whatever agency they were drawing um, this public assistance from, they weren't supposed to. 
Now, whatever it is, I'll, I don't know. I don't know if it's Section 8. I don't know if it's um, um, food stamps. I don't know if it's um, welfare. Well, it wouldn't be welfare. Well, I don't know. Um, Section 8, food stamps, welfare, some kind of public assistance energy. Um, however that resonates. Um, wow. Uh, and I heard legal issues. So I think they're going to have to pay the money back. And they might end up getting um, and some other kind of legal issues. Uh, I think it might be with governmental entity agency energy or it might be with somebody else. I'm not sure. So three of swords upright, they're, they are in heartbreak because their public assistance is about to be taken away. But I heard it should have been. Um, Eight of cups upright, they're about to be very emotional about this. Confirmation for my kitty, by the way. Eight of cups upright, they're about to be very emotional about this situation. Um, but I heard they shouldn't have even been on it anyways. Four pinnacles reversed. Um, upright is saving money. Frugality, saving money. Reverse, they've been spending money like water, basically. Um, wow. Holy crap. And for one particular Sagittarius, a family member is about to come to you and ask you for money. It would not be smart. It really would not be smart. They are a huge moocher, and you know this. Okay, and for one of you guys, so that's for one side in the universe. We have these four karmic energies up here, and this first set is a karmic energy too, and I'm just being for real, for real. But the second set of you guys, if this resonates with you, you're not a karmic energy. I heard um, a family member is about to come to you soon, a family member, and um, I heard you know they're a huge moocher. So... For some of you guys, it might be another Sag that resonates in this category, possibly, or it might be one of these wackadoos. You plug it in how it resonates, but however that resonates, I heard you know they're a huge moocher. They're going to ask you for money, basically. I heard it would not not be wise to give it to them. Of course, everybody has free will, and you can give it to them if you want to. But um, the spiritual advice here is basically not to give it to them. Uh, but you plug it in how it resonates. So three of swords upright. Um, you're about to be, it's about to break your heart. Uh, I think when you have to turn some of these people down, I think for some, the spiritual advice was not to give it to them. So, of course, you can choose to give it to them, um, but it's going to break your heart when they ask you for money, because I think you were hoping they would be a more responsible individual with money, but it's proven that they're not, obviously. Eight of Pentacles upright, I'm sorry, Eight of Cups upright, you're going to be emotional over the situation, I think, because some of them, you actually are going to turn them down. You're going to refuse to give them the money, like tough, tough love energy. And sometimes you have to do that. Sometimes you have to be tough love to uh, these kind of people. And I'm serious. Four Pentacles reverse. They spend money like water. They're, this is the moocher energy. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. I mean, I don't blame you guys. I don't. I mean, I have given money before when I have. I have. But I'm very selective on who I give it to because I know there's so many people out in the universe like this. And I'm serious about that. And it's not because I'm mean. It's just because I don't want to be taken advantage of. And I don't want you guys to be taken advantage of. And I'm serious about that. Spare messages you have for side. <clears throat> A Sagittarius masculine in his 30s is about to come across a very karmic feminine energy. She's about to ruin his life in a lot of ways. Love interest. I'm pulling in a lot of 30 Sag masculine energy. Uh, maybe this is you or somebody you're connected to, but another Sag masculine in his 30s. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. But it's a Sag masculine in his 30s. I heard he's about to come across a very karmic love interest. Um, I heard she's about to ruin his life. She's about to ruin his life. Dear God. So um, you plug it in how it resonates. Um, it's obviously someone he's sexually interested in or wanting to date or she. It sounds like she might be some kind of con artist or fraud or something of that nature. Um, I heard she's about to ruin his life, so I think she's out for money. I think I think she's going to lure him in with sex, um, and then she's going to take him for all he's got. Um, I didn't hear any of that. That's just my deductive logic and reasoning on this. 
Oh, somebody needs to be careful. Maybe you're the Sag National and your authorities watch it. Somebody needs to be careful. That hasn't happened yet. So maybe you can help prevent it. Um, use your head over your loins, possibly. Spirit messages you have to sign a Sag. Spirit message, okay. Ace of Cups upright, Nine of Swords upright, Princes of Wands reverse. Someone is about to approach a Sagittarius soon. All they see is dollar signs. They want to date you. Very karmic energy. You are about to turn them down and it's about to piss them off in a huge way. You're about to see right through them. You have been scammed and conned before. Well, that's a good one. That's a good one. So you plug it in how it resonates. Wow. There's a lot of spammy, scammy con artist energy in here. Yikes. So whoever you are, Sag, you can be masculine or femme for this one. Um, I feel your single's a Pringle or on a break or just had a breakup or what have you. But there's about to be somebody who wants to come towards you to date you basically. But I heard you're about to see right through them. So for some, you could be psychic. I think you might be a psychic, a mystic, a seer, something of that nature. You're highly intuitive, I tell you that. Um, I heard you've been scammed, spammed, and frauded before, basically. Um, and you're about to see right through this BS. You're about to see right through it. You're going to turn them down. I heard it's going to piss them off. So they're, they want to come towards you to date you or propose to date you is what I'm feeling. Um, Ace of Cups energy. Nine of Swords, they're about to be pissed. Stress, anxiety, worry, fear when you turn them down. They're not going to know what to do because they think they have it in the bag, I think. I think they, they are, whoever this is, they're scoping you out as a victim. I'm serious. But they're going to lure you in with sex and dating and, oh, baby, I love you and all that kind of crap. But you're, you're going to see right through it. I don't blame you. So you're going to give them mental health vibes. But they deserve it. In all seriousness. And it, and even if they didn't deserve it, if you don't want to date them, you don't want to date them. Princes and wands reverse. You have no desire, no drive, no motivation towards this situation. It's a karmic energy. Whether it's a masculine or feminine, it's a karmic energy coming towards you. But I heard you've been scammed, spammed, and frauded before. And basically, you're not going to feed into the BS. And I don't blame you. I don't blame you, whoever you are, masculine or fem -sage. I'm serious. Spirit messages you have signs of Sagittarius. Her take two. Dogs getting together with friends. Dog protection from a powerful friend. Wow, that's interesting. Some of you guys may have dogs. You may own a dog or dogs. I'm feeling for some of you guys. We have double um, dog energy in here. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Getting together with friends. A particular Sagittarius is about to go get an STD test soon. Really suspecting it will turn up positive. Going, being very alarmed wants, wants to protect their sexual health. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Oh my God. So one of you guys is, uh, you're suspecting you have an STD in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, I heard you're about to go get um, tested 
which is a smart, responsible thing to do. Um, and I heard you want to protect your sexual health. Absolutely. Um, but staying away from all these karmic energies would be the first defense, line of defense against protecting your sexual health um, and abstinence. For anybody that doesn't know that, I'm serious. Um, yikes. Um, but kudos to whoever you are. Um, you suspect you have an STD, you're about to go get tested. And um, just a little side note for anybody that doesn't know. Um, I've had an STD before. I've had one. I've had one. I've been a single a long, long, long time. Many, 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 many years. I've had one STD in my single years. And it was a long time ago. About six years ago. Something like that. I went. I got tested at the public health department. I did have one. I got treatment. I had followed my directions for my medication. It went away. Um, now, it wasn't anything, you know, it wasn't like HIV or anything. But... It's, it can happen is what I'm trying to say. It can happen. So um, kudos to whoever you are wanting to protect your sexual health. At least you're not going to let it just keep festering inside your body and get worse. Um, hopefully that'll give you a wake-up call to where you can stay away from karmic energies. Because, um, you know, ew, just saying. So, um, so kudos to you. In all seriousness, kudos to whoever that's for. One particular Sagittarius is about to remain single. Really remain single. Way too many karmics in the universe. About to keep their circle strong and tight. Okay, wow. Her one particular Sagittarius is about to remain... Um, Single, single, keep your circle strong and tight. So um, you may, it may be the same person about to go get STD tested possibly or not. Only you take the messages that resonate, leave the rest. But um, how this resonates, this is a completely single side, I'll tell you that. So that's what makes me think it may pick it back on the other message or not. Only you know your story, not anybody else. But um, you, I heard you realize there's way too many karmic energies in the universe, basically. And yeah, there are. Oh, trust me, I've been single a long time. There are. Um, so you want to keep your circle, your friend circle, I'm feeling, strong and tight and just remain single. So do you, honey boo boo, self-care yourself, you know, and live a happy life single. There's nothing wrong with that. There's really not. But you have to protect yourself. Um, because so many scammers, spammers, and con artists, they usually do it through sex, um, sex and dating. Um, and I hate to say that, but this is the truth unfortunately. So you plug it in how it resonates, but kudos to whoever you are. This is keeping your friend circle strong and tight. Um, kudos to you. Protection, dog protection from a powerful friend. A particular Sagittarius masculine is about to transfer positions and tra and lo relocate in his company. About to have serious help from a very powerful person. Someone he's known for a while. This is a powerful Sagittarius as well. Okay, so you, wow, so you plug it in how it resonates. Okay, Sag, so whoever you are, if, if this resonates for you, I heard you're a powerful Sag, so I think you are a position of authority, Sag. I heard you're about to transfer in your company, like relocate, like places, like um, I feel far from wherever you're at now, uh, from your city, country, I'm not your country, your city, your town, your province, etc. cetera, um, but you're about to transfer within your company so but you're about to have protection from a powerful friend i heard it's someone you've known for a, for a while i think they work in your company and they sound like a top dog uh big wig energy um to help you do this and you are too you're top dog big 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 wig energy as well uh whatever you are manager boss supervisor ceo or executive level or what have you but 
um, I heard you've known this person for a while. They're about to help you transfer. So there's a reason you want to transfer, um, but this person is about to help you make it happen, basically. So it's within your company, um, but you're about to move locations from whatever city, town, province, state, et cetera. Well, not state, city, town, or province, et cetera, et cetera. You're currently in, but you're about to transfer within your company to get away um, from wherever you're at now for whatever reason or reasons. So you plug it in, however that resonates, if that resonates uh, for you, but that's protection from a powerful friend, which is your friend within your company. That is some kind of top dogs, um, big wig S type energy that's about to help you make it happen. Um, but I feel you both are. You both are uh, big wig S type energies, um, but you plug it in how it resonates. And one particular Sagittarius is about to experience a robbery soon. In their home. Through many series of chain of events, one of the officers, amazing officer, there will be a connection there. A positive connection. They may ask you out on a date. They are very light side, know this. They do not play around. Whoa, so you plug it in, how it resonates. I feel I'm pulling in a lot of single Sagittariuses in here. I'm telling you that. I'm serious. Uh, well, not all single Sagittariuses. There's some single Sagittariuses in here. There's some that are married, about to get a divorce. Some, I mean, there's a mixture of you guys, but several messages for single Sagittarius is what I'm saying. So whoever this is, I feel you're single. You're single as a Pringle, but you're about to experience a robbery in your home. Is what I heard. So I don't know if you rent it, if you buy it, uh, if you bought it, if it's paid off, what have you. But um, it's inside your home. Um, some kind of robbery energy. So I'm obviously after the robbery, you're going to call the police, I'm presuming. And that's how you're going to come in contact with this police officer, officer of the law. But I heard they're very light side officer of the law. And it sounds like I heard they're amazing. So they're about to really, really help you out. Um, I'm assuming police report energy here. Um, I mean, it sounds like they're about to do their job, do it well, and um, they're about to come in and really assist you, which is beautiful. Um, but I heard it's about to form a positive connection between you and this officer. So I think they're going to find you attractive um, and maybe your personality, obviously, I think your personality plus it, and they are obviously going to find you physically attractive, I'm presuming. And I heard they might consider asking you out on a date, but they are light side and know this. So. Whoever you are and this message resonates with you, just know they're very light side. So, you know, if you're not light side, don't take advantage of them, basically. Um, because it sounds like they're about to do their job and do it beautifully for you. But they also want to take you out um, and, like, date you. But it sounds like a monogamous, very monogamous person that lives on the light side of life. Um, so, you know, if you're not light side, you know, let them down easily. Just saying, just saying. And this could be the protection from a powerful friend too. The helping with the police report energy. This officer really, really doing his, uh, I'm assuming his job, it could be a hard job, uh, his or her job, um, really helping you out. I'm assuming with the police report or helping you out, um, however they're going to help you out with this robbery. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Um, but it sounds like you're going to come in contact with this officer, masculine or femme, through calling the police because of the robbery. So you plug it in how it resonates. Wow. Let me see if I hear anything else. A particular Sagittarius nurse. Older Sagittarius nurse through many series of chain of events are going to is going to get their license taken away. One child abuse, one several incidences with drugs over the years. 
Oh my Lord. Whoa. Holy crap. So I feel guided to pull a kipper. Dear God Almighty. This is, this is a reading you guys. So you plug it in how it resonates. So, um, Sag nurse energy strong in here. Um, I heard, it, heard, it, heard it, I can't even speak. An older Sagittarius nurse. So, you know, older in the tro is 40 and above. So I'm feeling they're either 40 or above. Um, it's at least two Sagittarius nurses in the universe. I'll tell you that. Now, I don't know if they're LPN, RN, nurse anesthes anesthesiologist, um, uh, CRNP. Um, however, that resonates. But there's, it's at least two Sag nurses, masculine or femme. I heard they're about to get their license taken away. Some of them, um, or at least one of them for child abuse, and at least one of them for several instances of drugs over the years. So um, you plug it in how it resonates. So the drugs is not the first rodeo. It's several, several rodeos. I'm feeling at least three plus rodeos in the universe. And then the other one is some kind of child abuse energy. So this is like revocation of licensure energy. Um, which is, you know, my gosh, your nursing license for some people is their whole bread and butter, their whole career. But in all fairness, my God, this is, this is, I mean, several drug instances over the years. I mean, so they didn't learn from the first one. Um, several is like three plus. Um, and I'm just serious. And then child abuse, you can't play around with child abuse. You just cannot. You cannot. So, I mean... You plug it in how it resonates. This is, oh my goodness. Um, if it's not you, it could be a nurse you're connected to possibly. You plug it in how it resonates. Spirit messages you have to sign a Sagittarius. Now, I I, I just want to say while I'm shuffling out because y'all know I'm a nurse. Um, there is a, pro now, I don't know about other states. I'm assuming probably in other states, but you know, I'm licensed in the state of Alabama. Um, so I know about Alabama. They have a program in Alabama for people with substance abuse issues. Um, it's called the VDAP, V-D-A-P, um, and that helps with people with substance abuse issues. Um, so I heard several instances with drug issues. So I don't know what state this, the one with the drug issues resides in, but I'm assuming the other states probably have substance abuse issue programs too for nurses. Um, but I heard several. So with, I'm feeling three plus issues. Um, if there is some kind of program in their state, I'm assuming they've probably been in it several times is what I'm trying to say. Um, so it's to the point, it's revocation of license at this point is what I'm presuming. And the other one, you just can't mess around with child abuse. You just can't. I mean, I have no sympathy for that. I just don't. I mean, nobody's perfect, but you shouldn't abuse child or children. And that's just the truth. Spirit messages you have a sign of Sagittarius. A particular Sagittarius needs to beware. A particular Scorpionic energy is going to try to lash out at a Sagittarius soon. It would not be smart to engage. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. My Lord, Scorpionic energy. So whoever you are, Sag, masculine or femme, some kind of Scorpionic energy. Um, I heard they're going to try to lash out at you soon. Um, so lash out, I'm, I'm feeling um, verbal. Hopefully it's not physical. Um, but I heard spiritual download, it would not be smart to engage. So, um you know, not answer the call, not answer um, the text, not answer the door, not communicate, communicate or converse with this person is what I'm presuming. I mean, this sounds like a very volatile kind of person. It sounds like a low vibrational Scorpionic energy. They could have Scorpio in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, moon, heaven, Jupiter charge. You could be masculine or femme and the Scorpio could be masculine or femme. But they sound very volatile. I'll tell you that. Lashing out. So I don't know if it's verbal lashing, physical lashing, or both, but I would be careful. Um, I heard it would not be smart to engage. So you plug it in however it resonates, um, whoever you are for that particular download. Yikes. 
Okay, so I got change in privileged lady. Number 9 and 12 could be very significant numbers in your life, possibly. Number 9 or 12. It could be possible ages of children of yours or somebody you're connected to. Possible lottery number. Possible date of birth number. Possible green card number. Possible lottery number. Possible jersey number. 9 or 12. Change. 555 five, five energy here. And I just want to say, I mean, we're at 40 minutes, y'all. The longest reading so far. Um, by far. Um, but... A lot of changes in this reading. A lot, a lot, a lot of changes. A lot. Heavy 555 change energy. Huge changes coming for many Sagittarius soon and people connected to Sagittarius. Huge changes. Legal battles are about to be wrapped up. Some legal battles are about to start. Relocation energy. Someone connected to a, a Sagittarius is about to win the lottery soon. Wow. So you plug it in how it resonates. Holy crap. Okay, so a lot of changes. Um, I heard with you guys, with you Sagittarius, and people connected to you. So lots of changes, some relocation energy. We had that one specific message of the high-level masculine energy, him, but it, it could be any of you guys relocating. Uh, it could be relocating just maybe you're going to retire. Maybe you are just want to a job scenery um, change, uh, uh, locate relocation change. Uh, maybe, you, you know, you just want to move um how that resonates but heavy relocation energy um for some the relocation could be to jail with some of these people and i'm serious because we're pulling in child abuse um lawsuits um all kinds of crazy crap but high vibing sages too so you have to plug yourself in however it resonates. If it resonates for you is what I'm trying to say. But a lot of change energy, however in the world that resonates. And somebody connected to a Sag is about to win the lottery soon to her. So that's a huge change to the person connected to the Sag in their financial status. We have change and privilege ladies. So I'm feeling whoever this message resonates for, I think it's a feminine energy about to win the lottery. But it's not a Sag about to win the lottery. It's somebody connected to a Sag. Um, I feel it's a femme energy or a masculine that takes on heavy femme. Because we have the change card with the privileged lady and the lottery um, message. So you plug it in however that resonates. If that resonates um, for you, Sag. Privileged lady. A particular high vibrational Sagittarius feminine celebrity is about to be very, 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 very successful with the particular book. Very successful. And a particular feminine energy, not a celebrity, is work currently working on a book and they will be very successful as well. Not a Sagittarius. And they're about to be successful in other ways soon. Wow. So you plug in how it resonates, Sag. This is such a long reading, but um, you plug in how it resonates. So I wonder if you watch Sag Celebrity. Um, I hope you do because this is a beautiful message if this resonates for you. I heard you're a Sag Celebrity. You're a Sag Femme Celebrity. So, um, and it sounds like you're like high-level Sag Femme Celebrity. Um Wow. Um, I heard you, uh, you, your book is about to be very successful. So you have written a book or you're finishing a book, how that resonates in your life. You either have already completed it or you're in the processes of completing it. But I heard your book is about to be very, very, very successful. Sag Femme Celebrity. So change, privileged lady. I'm sure you already are privileged, privileged lady, celebrity, Sag Femme. Uh, I'm sure you are. Um, but it's about to help your income. 
make him even more of a privileged lady, apparently, because I heard this book is going to be super freaking successful, man. So you go with your bad self, Sag Femme Celebrity. Woo woo. Woo woo. Just saying, just saying. Um, you go with your bad self. Um, I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, I feel you're very high vibing, um, whoever you are. Sag Femme Celebrity. I do. Um, I do. You go with your bad self. And then I heard somebody not a Sagittarius is currently working on a book. They're currently working on a book. And I heard basically once they get theirs completed and I'm assuming get it to a, get a publisher to publish it, publish it and get it out there to the universe because they're not a celebrity like you are, Sage Femme Celebrity. Um, I heard their book is going to be very successful too. So um, that could be the change to the privileged lady energy as well. Their um, book being successful, um, the person that's not a Sag, whoever um, this resonates for. Um, Sag Femme Celebrity, you might be connected to this person that's currently writing the book, um, possibly, because there's a reason I'm pulling that message in. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Oh my gosh. This Sagittarius Feminine Celebrity is about to get someone close to her to really pay it forward to a particular feminine energy soon in a very positive, wonderful way. Know that this person will be very grateful for what you are about to do. Oh my God, I'm pulling you in so strong, Sajfin Celebrity. Holy crap. So, okay, Sajfin Celebrity, whoever you are and how this resonates in your life. Um, wow. I heard you're about to get somebody close to you to pay it forward to a particular fem energy. I heard this fem energy has really helped you um, in many ways, basically. Um, and you want to pay it forward to them. And now I don't know how you're going to pay it forward to them. I'm assuming maybe financially, but it may be in other ways. I'm not sure because um, you you have plenty of money. That's why I say, or I'm assuming you do. Um, that's why I'm assuming you're going to pay it forward in a financial way, but I don't know. I just heard you're going to pay it forward in a wonderful way. And whoever is going to receive this, um, you paying it forward to them, they're going to be very grateful um, and know this. So know that they're going to be very grateful for whatever in the world you're about to do. I just assumed it was financial, but only you know your story, not anybody else. Wow, Sag Femme Celebrity, you go with your bad self. I'm just saying, you go with your freaking bad self, ma'am. Just saying, just saying. So that could be the change energy too. Sag Femme Celebrity, maybe you're going to make this, maybe it's a Femme Energy, you're about to change their, I think you're about to change your life in a positive way, ma'am. I'm serious. Maybe the change energy is you're going to make this person a privileged lady by if it's financial or other positive ways, you're going to help them boot up financially um, or give them some kind of information to where they can um, or some kind of leg up energy to make them the privileged lady. It could be a femme energy or masculine takes on heavy femme that you're about to help out, I'm feeling. Um, wow. Holy crap, man. This is so awesome. All right, let me see if I hear anything else. Okay, I didn't. I didn't. Okay, you guys, well, y'all are the longest so far by far. I'm sorry it is so long. All right, love you guys so much. Namaste.